Everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad, and joining me today, my buddy Ron Kinsherf. And hey. uh, how are you? I'm dandy. Good. I'm good. delighted to be here. Awesome. Okay, so we are at the Tower Restaurant in Quincy, Illinois, of course, on our next stop of the Great Quincy Sandwich Debate. And the Tower, uh, of course, is an amazing restaurant. I, I think my family and I eat here at least once a week or carry out. Um, but I've never tried this sandwich that we're about to try. I have not either. You I haven't. Know, yeah. Good. Okay, so we're first timers, uh, definitely not at the tower, but for the sandwich, and mm -hmm. I'm really, really excited about it. But before we do that, the tower has such a rich history in Quincy, mm -hmm. and I don't, are you born and raised in Quincy? Yes. Okay, so you probably remember better than I do, hint, hint, our ages. No, I'm kidding. Well, but, I am older than Okay, you. so on 20th and I think it was college is where yeah. it kind of originated, right? Yeah, yeah. and uh, yes. Okay, and I don't know how long it was there, but it was there for a really long time. And after talking to Rod and some other people, um, from what I understand, they sold it to um, Judy Faulkner, who of course, if, if anybody knows Judy from the tower, she still works here. Mm -hmm. um, she's been here for, I think, at least 40 years, possibly inching closer to 50. But she's still back in the kitchen and always working super hard. Uh, so then after, 20th in college. Well, they sold it to Judy and her mom. Um, and somehow it changed hands back to the McLeans uh, and the facility, the building on 12th and Broadway, which is now a bank, became available. Right. So they didn't have the intention of moving the tower there, but eventually a tenant that was there moved out and they were like, well, hey, we can get more traffic. So they moved everything um, to 12th and Broadway, which is where I got introduced to the tower. They had the buckets of hot wings. Did you, are you a fan of hot wings? See, yes, I am. But okay. I, see, we did not go out to eat hardly at all growing up. Okay. Around here. So I, I remember the tower more on this, by the college than I do 12th and Broadway. Broadway, because that's like high school hangout and stuff sure. like that. But I don't remember the uh, tower at 12th and Broadway all that much or the bucket of wings. We okay. did not go out to eat at all growing up. <sighs> well, okay, well, let so. me be the first to say the bucket of wings, and I'm not saying their wings today aren't amazing because they are. Oh, good. But the bucket, the if if you had buckets of wings from the tower, you know the best part about it was you could ratio the sauce however you want by shaking the bucket <laughs> or dumping it upside down. As long as you didn't kick the bucket, you're okay. Right, exactly. So uh, that that's where that. So that's where I kind of got introduced to the tower, and I remember being bummed um, that they were moving it because it was so close to my house and my friends and I could just walk down there and hang out and... One thing that people always, when they come to town from out of town is the combination of Mexican and Italian... It's weird, isn't it? ...that Quincy has. Yeah. And uh, they've never seen that in a lot of places where they go. You know, it's out interesting. Out or someplace like that where it's Mexican and pizza. Right. That unique combination. Yeah, so Jim City's the same, work. yeah. It's, it's a weird combination, but when you walk in here, the smells are like, Mm -hmm. I could just, yeah, I could eat everything on the menu. But so then continuing on with the history. Oh, I'm sorry. That, no, you're fine. They built um, this building, I think with, they've been here on, what is it, 33rd? What is this, 28th? Something Broadway. Something Broadway. If you drive by, you see the big clock. That's the tower. But uh, they've been here for almost coming up on 25 years, I think, uh, which is outstanding. I mean, the McLean's always know how to run a, a great restaurant, but. Do we know why a tower is involved in the name? That's a good question. No, I don't. I'm assuming it's like the Tower of Pizza. That's tower my of Yeah, Pizza but the original location didn't have a tower at all, did it? No. There's like one floor. But I think on the menu they did. Uh, okay. I think. All That's right. just a hunch. We'll it's have to double check that. better than the basement of pizza. Yeah, we'll have to double check that. Or any that. other alternative. The so, Africa Pizza. It, either I'm, way, I'm trying to delicious. throw you off as best that possibly You're, can. Good luck, man. I'm, I think I'm on my You're game a little okay, bit. But now, cool. no, now you totally made me lose my place. But. Okay, so if you know anything else about uh, the McLean establishments, you know the decor is always one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And there's something about um, everything, especially in this room, in the bar room, because there's a restaurant as well, um, but in the bar room, everything in here from Elvis to the hubcaps to the wall is actually, it signifies something really uh, special to some, someone in the McLean family. So uh, for example, the hubcaps, Come, they came off of like Rod's friends' motorcycles. Mm -hmm. um, some of the bricks from this wall came from the original 
Tower Restaurant on uh, College, I think. Mm -hmm. So there's just, there's so many cool things, the lights, the chandeliers, uh, to the floors. The floors were one of the uh, first, this was one of the first establishments, I think, in Quincy and probably, uh, I don't want to say anywhere, but probably one of the few that has uh, stamped concrete. Okay. So that's 25 years ago. I mean, now it's all the rage, but back then, I don't think it was. So, <laughs> excuse me, not only is the food amazing, it's different, the decor is different, but you always feel like home when you're here. I think they've done a really good job of retaining staff <laughs> too, not only here, but the other McLean restaurants. So that's always good. You come in, you see if somebody you've seen before and they yeah. seem to know you. And I think that's important. It's very rare, I think, in this industry to have consistent help. It is. And uh, the same face for the most part, greets you when you come in to eat. Absolutely, yeah, and their service is always top notch, which is, of course, in today's day, it's a little harder to achieve, I think, with, you know, lower staffing levels and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are, they, they keep it up, they keep their reputation going, and their food's always amazing. So, speaking of food, the thing that we are trying today, the sandwich yes. that we're trying today, is called tequila lime chicken that we've never tried. Never had it, my wife loves it. She doesn't She's normally get the sandwich, she gets the plate. Okay. My daughter mentioned, I told her what I was doing today, and uh, first of all, she's surprised I'm at an eating show, uh, but she said- this You're such a foodie, Ron. Oh, I'm hardly <laughs> anything but a foodie. But the funny thing is I walk in, like I was at uh, the Silver Dollar the other day, and people are, are you here to critique their food? It's, yeah. It's just kind of odd. Anyway, but, she says this for their stuff's really good too, the good. tequila lime, so we'll try it. Good, uh, and real quick before, uh, before we try that sandwich and meet Nate, one of the uh, originators of the sandwich, they, I talked to Rod about how they came up with this, and it was kind of, it's a really cool story, but they brought in a crew from Kentucky um, to bring an authentic Mexican flavor to the Italian mm -hmm. that they already had. So um, they brought in a group and, and added menu items to, uh, I guess, you know, things that people right. weren't normally used to. So on that note, I think I've been a little long-winded, but there's so much interesting stuff to talk about. So uh, coming up, we'll try the sandwich, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with the convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Okay, and now we're in uh, the El Presidente, which uh, is one of the private rooms at the tower. So if you've never sat in here, it's great for um, big groups, small kids. Uh, but I'm sitting here with Nate, and he is uh, the guy behind the sandwich today. Uh, Nate, so tequila lime chicken is, like I said, it's not something I've ever had. However, trying it, it's definitely gonna be something I have again. Can you give us kind of a little um, peek or secret into how it's made? Well, yes. Uh it soaks for 24 hours in our uh, tequila lime mix. Okay. Which just has a big mixture of stuff we do here. Sits there for 24 hours, and then uh, from there, we put it onto our char grill, get those nice grill marks in there, and then uh, you can either get it as a sandwich, uh, a salad, and we also have a tequila lime dinner. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, so now the dinner comes with like rice and- Rice, fruit. beans, grilled veggies, cornmeal. Mm, see, that's up my alley. Fixings, yeah, that's fixings. up my alley. I mean, I love a sandwich, don't get me wrong, but I do love a plate with rice and beans and all the stuff. Oh, yeah. So, um, how long have you been a cook here? I've been here for 15 years. 15 years. Yep. All right. Can I ask what your favorite part is? Really just being a part of something that's great. You yeah. Know? Making something that's delicious, seeing the like impact it brings on people just for good food. You know? Yeah. That, that look on their face of saying like, that was delicious. Yeah. You know? And food really is something that brings everybody together. It's kind of like music, like we were talking about, you know, you were, you were a musician for a while, right? Yeah. Are you still a musician? Uh, somewhat here. Somewhat now, here yeah. for hobby, but this is now your passion. Yeah. Uh, it is, food and music tend to bring people together like together. nothing else, mm -hmm. right? They so I together. love, yeah, I love that you said that. Also, um, a minute ago you were talking about kind of, you were talking around about creating something new, which I think has got to be just awesome, an awesome part of being a cook. Oh yeah, just get that free range of just yeah. doing what you want, yeah. Yeah. I love it. And you guys have the best ingredients here, in my mind, like I said, I'm a little biased towards McLean establishments, but um, 
it's like you have this like blank slate with Italian and Mexican and how you can meld those two together or mm -hmm. keep them separate and it's just gotta be so cool. Well, that's exciting, yeah. Yeah, yep. love like it. it. Um, so 15 years, do you have any like crazy memories or it could be with the staff, with, that, with customers, oh, yeah. whatever, yeah. Well, I mean, I started off just like on the pizza line, just, you know, topping pizzas and stuff like that. But then from there, you kind of look down the line and just see all the other stuff. It's like, what's he making down there? Like, then it interests you like, I want to learn how to make that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so is it like you step up into just, yeah, different? Yeah, really stepping up to it. Yeah. yeah. And then from where I'm at now, I'm just like, you know, I love it. I love where I'm at. You yeah. Know, with good people. I love the McLean's. They're great people. They are great people. Yeah. I worked for a McLean establishment for, I would say, close to 15 years. And you, you truly will not find a better family oh, to no. work for, no. work with, um, or dine with because the food, the service, uh, of course, the staff, you guys are all just amazing and dedicated. Dedicated for sure. Right? Yes. So, like I mentioned, it's it, staffing issues are everywhere, but it seems like the McLean establishments, I'm sure you might not be as staffed as you would like to be at some point, at some times, but it never shows to mm -hmm. the customers. So, kudos to you guys. Awesome. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, keep creating masterpieces like this. This is yeah. so cool. Yeah, no Nate, you rock. Thank you so much Thank for chatting with me. Hey, Appreciate no it. What kind of shows will you see on Muddy River Gems each month? The same award-winning storytelling from Mark McDonald and crew that you enjoyed for nearly 20 years on PBS. Muddy River Gems with host Mark McDonald a new episode every month online from Muddy River News. So, I will take my bite first. You take your bite first so we're not talking and eating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so no, we okay. won't so both, this, won't this both is, have our mouth full. So this is strategy. <laughs> we got to have a strategy. People probably don't understand that no. Muddy River has a lot of strategic parts to it. It's a very it's serious business. This type of stuff. Very it's serious incredibly business. incredibly serious it is speaking of serious here comes our uh, little waiter now server i think is what you call it yeah yeah tequila lime chicken all right so you will love it thank you so much now i do have to ask do people normally put all this on there okay all right okay you're not no. are you a sissy are you I'm a, a sissy, sissy boy I, okay I read, that's why my daughter is very surprised at being invited to do these okay things. i'm just i'm like steve Iyer. all right well i'll Except put the I'm stuff much, on much better looking you put you try your sandwich and i'll put all the right. stuff on mine and then we'll we'll uh we'll chat about it one thing i do notice is the bun i don't know why i'm so into buns <laughs> yeah Young yeah lady. buns hun hey so i love the a buttery bun especially if it's crisp i love it so all right first thought what do you think it's good. Yeah. It's like uh, what else? I don't. Yes, delightful. Good. Okay. Is it like uh, the bun's really good? All right. It's, it, it's not real hot. I thought it'd be a little bit hotter than. I mean, in spicy. spicy. It's not real spicy. Yeah. yeah. So do you do you taste like lime in it? Yeah. Do you taste tequila? No. Okay. But dang it. All right. Am I supposed to? I don't know. Just soak the tequila. This is the first time I've had it. Okay. I need to figure out where I put my pepper. I get get another pepper on it here. All right. I'm gonna try mine. I can't believe you're not a banana. Pe banana peppers aren't even that spicy. Pepperoncinis, whatever you call it. Mm. Mm hmm. What? Good. It's fantastic. So, not to speak with my mouthful, but chicken sandwiches are always one of my go-to's because I love hard, them. Hard though. No. Hmm. I think they're hard not to do dry. They're hard not to perfect, and this is amazing. Yeah. Also, I've Especially never had banana peppers on a chicken sandwich. So that's amazing. Yeah. Also, I'm not a huge fan of cilantro, but this mix has just the right amount of tomato, onion, and a little bit of cilantro. I think it's hard to get something this thin, not dry. Yeah. It's really good. It is good. Um, which, I, speaking of cilantro, if you are not a huge fan of cilantro, but you like just a little bit of the taste, the tower salsa is amazing because I'm not a huge cilantro fan and some salsas are too heavy on it, but the salsa here, I don't, maybe it's because I'm, I might be partial because I do love the McLean establishments. I do love the McLean family, but their food is second to none. I mean, I, I feel like they've really just nailed it on, on all fronts. 
and like you mentioned, Italian and Mexican is a really weird combination, mm -hmm. but they do them both perfectly, mm -hmm. right? Would you agree? Yeah. yeah He's I'm... stuffing his face. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Isn't yeah. that what we're supposed to do? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah. Very good sandwich. Like I said, if you've never tried it, definitely come yeah. in and give it a shot as well as anything else on the menu because you really can't go wrong, right? My favorite part about the tower is the El Prozonante room. Oh, that's what that's I was going to talk great, about. That was a great place to bring when he has 65,000 grandchildren. Yeah. And they can run around and run into each other and they don't bother anybody. Yeah, it's a little private room. Yeah. Um, but even anywhere in the tower, you can come and feel comfortable with kids or, you know, so you can... Yeah, but it's great in there because... It's you, great, it's private. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. They also have, um, I think it's Big Owls. So if you have like a group of cackling women like myself and my friends, just stuff, stuff us back into that little private room and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all around, especially including, but not limited to the, the patio or whatever you call it back here. It's enclosed um, when it needs to be and it's open when it can be. So just all around cool place. And if you've never been here, I, I suggest you yeah. check it out, right? And try the tequila lime chicken sandwich because it definitely uh, it definitely fits the bill of one of the 10 best works. places. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that does it for today. Uh, be sure to come into the tower and check it out.